Okay. So, good day class. Um, today, we are going to start now with your business plan. So, the following activity that we have that we are going to conduct in the laboratory is the proper or part na na siya sa inyong business plan. And for the lab activity three, you are going to start now with your business profile. So, I know that you already have your business profile profile but you really have to decide and finalize the nature of your business or if um naaba mo yung mga certain areas na kailangan i-change o kailangan i-improve so for today's uh, discussion the learning outcomes would be identify the elements of a business plan uh, confirm your business mission vision and purpose as the starting point for the business plan in consultation with the stakeholders third create a realistic clearly stated and measurable objectives for the business and lastly identify the elements of business plan okay so let us define again what is business plan so um, planning it can be viewed as the systematic approach uh, to a certain objectives it is an attempt to eliminate mistakes inherent to on-the-spot decisions having a business plan it is also an ideal to start a business for that means you're not leaving anything by chance so again business plan it is a sort of a blueprint that keeps the entrepreneur on the right track and it gives a sense of purpose to the business. So for example, your business name. So before you're going to write your uh, business name, uh, you're going to write first down your business plan. So you have to choose a suitable name for the company you're going to put up. Okay, so. Uh, this is the name you'll be constantly referring to when you begin cursing your business plan together. So aside from your company name, you have to also find the need to come up with a separate name for your product, which will be your brand name. So again, um, very important yun na siya, nga ang inyong business name should be different with your brand. Uh, product of your business because mag create mag na siya ang confusion towards sa customers. Okay? So, the focus of the business plan is um, mani siya? Uh, it could be from the kind of mga new or existing uh, small business uh, from the division of department or large organizations and then a new product development initiative so a very important na siya nga uh, the person uh, responsible for the development of your business plan should have a sound understanding on the influence of the operation okay that would be based on the research so it is now time to document the path forward in your business plan So these are the content of the business plan. So first, these are the preliminary pages that contains the cover page, that contains the title page. Title page include the name of your business, the name, the name or the name of the proponents, the address in which asa nakalocate ang inyong business, the telephone number in which um, asa mo makontakt or kanang makakontak ang inyong mga customer and then the email and the website address the date and name of the person who prepared the business plan and then the table of content so another one is the executive summary so executive summary contain contains the business profile okay uh, your product or the services offered about the market um, the potential of your business in your goals and objectives, um, the strategist, the business structure, the finance, and the conclusion. So this is the last thing. Maginisha yung pinakalas ng buhaton ninyo in 
in conducting or doing the content in your business plan. So, uh, executive summary portion is in which summarizes the plan and state of the objectives of your business. So, basically, a brief description of the projection of your uh, business plan and then continues ni siya og mga brief profile of your proponent projects, mga contribution to the economy and others. Okay, so here, the executive summary also should have should have this um, kanang importance sa inyo hanga business plan. So, um, basically, a uh, miniature na siya sa inyo hang plan and then it should be a ra uh, good summary para ma-subtan ma siya dayon sa inyo hang mga audience and then um, the executive summary also should have the following attributes um, captures other interest, attention, and imagination. Um, it could make the readers want to read more. It could convey the flavor of the rest of the plan and portrays the writer's enthusiasm to your business. And it, it should be concise and clearly written. So, uh, executive summary is quite possibly the most important part of your business plan since the contain magin siya sa mga uh, important information about your business. Okay, so um, there are many potential investors or lenders nga mo take ang executive summary ang ilahang first nga kitaon or first nila nga basahon since summary naman siya about sa inyo hang business. And also, in this section, doesn't entice the reader to want to go into the body of the plan for additional information. Then it has to failed its purpose. So if ang reader is mo dig down deeper pa siya sa kanang more information sa inyo hanga business, no, kanang kay pasab pasabot ana wala sila naka sabot or naasalin mga na information lacking sa inyo hang executive summary. Okay? So mo na siya. Then the business profile. So the business profile contain the business name, okay, kung sa pangan sa inyo hang business, a business location, as siya naka locate, um, the activities, the objectives, and history, history or entry of strategy, ownership structure, and then the legal uh, requirements. Mana siya ang content sa inyohang business plan. Those are the things nga nag-content sa inyohang business plan. Okay. So, for your business name, um, it should be simple and often the best. You have to avoid using the suburb name. Um, using the name of kanang asa nakalocate ang inyohang business. Like, kanang mga name of the town. So, inyohang, gi-appeal gi ninyo ang name sa town sa inyohang business name. Like, for example, Ormok Restaurant and Catering. Okay, so taas siya kaayo. So, dapat simple lang ang name sa inyong business and it should be kanang ma-remain bitaw siya sa huna-huna sa mga customer. Kaya naman kuyo ba nga ako taas sa ilang asa ka litong restaurant ko itong taas kayo pangan. So, mauna na siya. So, instead nga, ang inyohang proper name sa business plan is Mauna siya, so naalis da na siya og lain tungod kay di naman siya ma-remain sa huna-huna sa mga customers. So mauna siya. Okay, so um, your business path name should be kanang simple. So mauto siya, simple siya. Then mo avoid pud mong mga suburb name. Okay, mauto siya ang example. And then it should be interesting. Okay, interesting na siya and indicative, mag-indicate na siya kung unsa ang product or services you are offering to the consumer. Mogid na siya ang pag-create sa business uh, name. A vision statement. Okay, so regarding with the vision statement and vision statement, um, vision statement uh, sometimes called a picture, but it's so much more than that. Your vision statement is your inspiration, the framework for all your strategic planning. Mogi na siya. 
a vision statement, it will give you an inspiration in achieving your goals. So, magin na siya inyo hang huna huna on kung unsa ang mga projections niyo, ang inyo hang mga pila ka years from now, unsa pwede niyo, unsa yung achieve, unsa inyo hang i-achieve, ano ang kuan, ano ang ang i-achieve niyo sa inyo hang business, okay? Magin na siya ang vision statement and also. A vision, vision statement should kanang state or specify or kanang mag in relation sa sa kung unsa ang inyong hang goal or asa ninyo ibutang unsay gusto where and what your business to be in three years time mga ing ana vision yun siya and then mission statement um it is the state of the purpose of a company or organization. So the mission statement should guide the actions of the organizations, spell out its overall goal, uh, provide a path, and guide decision making. It provides the framework of or content within which the company's strategy are formulated. So mission, um, unsa ang purpose sa inyong company? So you have to panang i-appeal niyo di ha nga panang ano ni exist man mo ano ni exist man ang inyong business. And then, okay, mao na siya. So it should be kanang concise, um, concisely, um, concisely line in line with your beliefs in the operation of your um business. So in creating vision and mission, it should be customer focus. Okay. So. Core business activity and sub and some subsidiary activity. So after defining the business and the business mission and vision, so you are going now to define the core business activity and the sub and some subsidiary activities in your business. Okay. For example. For example, um, kisa ang inyo hang mga target market, um, kung sa nga type ang inyo hang i-offer anak niya nga, nga, nga activity, kana mo na siya. Now, for your business objectives. So, business profile section of the business plan should include uh, the business objectives. So, unsa ang inyo hang mga business objectives. So, the types of objectives are the sales figures, uh, revenues, uh, delivery times, service standards, and then client numbers, uh, client handling times, staff turnover, and profit margins. Okay, so um, this is objectives. These are the objectives na kailangan ninyo i-achieve in order to um, achieve also the goal na inyo hang set for your business. So here, I'm going to show you an example of an objective. Okay, so Singapore Travel Agency. So the owner has invested one hundred thousand dollar of his own capital and borrowed one hundred thousand, one hundred thousand. Okay, he has arranged to pay interest only for the first year and the commence reducing his debt by twenty percent, twenty dollar per annum. Okay, so here, um, nangutang siya. So ang iyang objective is to to kanang ma-reduce ang iyahang debt niya per annum o $20. So, muna siya ang iyahang buhaton para maka, makabayad siya sa iyahang utang. So, in the year one, muna ang iyahang sales. So, in the year two, um, ang iyahang objective is to increase the sales by $50,000. Okay? And then, in the year three, um, ma-increase na po siya another um, twenty-five thousand in year three, twenty-five thousand dollars. So that in increasing the in in way or sa pag increase ato nga sales, nashay money or nashay budget in order to pay sa iyang debt. And then in three years time, ma achieve na niya ang iyang objectives in which to lessen sa utang nga iyang gihimo. Okay, man siya ang objectives. Now let's proceed to business history and entry strategy. So, 
Um, this is a story actually naka-create naman mo, Ani. So, na ang mga disadvantages and advantages in creating business, especially if new pa lang siya or challenging yun kaayo ang pag-create, especially if new. Okay, so, a new business is usually less expensive because you do not have to pay for goodwill. Okay, goodwill means a value placed upon a business as a result of its reputation, a established consumer based on physical assets. However, a new business is riskier because there is no certainty that your product or service will be in demand and usually it will require kanang more time and effort by the owner and staff to attract consumer. But of course, there are great opportunities for you to create something new and special and perhaps position your business in a market. So if the business is start up, how will you manage the following situations? Okay, like situations like promoting the business, um, establishing customer demand, um, facilitating problems in setting operating uh, systems and procedures. So you have to kanang mangita kag mga source, mga rel reliable sources, mga reliable suppliers. You have to recruit and train staff, highly skilled staff. And then you have to obtain sufficient capital para if dili siya mo click in the first week or in the first month or in the first year sa pag introduce niyo sa inyong business still um working gihapon siya because challenging man lagi ang new business since kailangan pa man nimo mo obtain og customer trust kailangan pa man nimo makakuha or mo advertise kung unsa ang mga product and services nga gi-offer ninyo Mamangid na siya. And then, coping with financial pressure of time lag before knowing is known a product and services. Okay, so um, here also you are going to identify what type of ownership structure your business would have. So, naamay mga type of ownership like sole trader, ikaw pa lang sa partnership, pamuduha. Uh, and then third is prop property limited company or more than two. Okay, so mostly small companies as a sole trader or partnership. However, it is advisable to consider the disadvantage inherent in this form of business. Although um, establishing a company is an additional expense, it offers benefits not least being enhanced ability to source external funds. Okay, so advisable ang sole trader, yet uh, nagya ko na siya yung mga disadvantages like kaya ba yun ni mo nga i-finance or i-finance ang imuhang business ikaw lang o sa or magkuha ka partner so dapat na agid na siya um set ng mga contracts or mag-set gid mo contracts between the two of you kung unsa ang inyong mga limitations um ang inyong in terms sa inyong mga contributions sa so mga na lagi na siya same with the PLC okay mo na siya so for your laboratory activity 3 the company profile, again, you're going to write your mission statement and vision of your existing or proposed business and describe its activity. And then, second, develop a set of key objectives of your business over the next three years. You may wish to include objectives other than the shown in the above table based on the example. And then, identify possible problems that you could impact on your business achieving its objectives. So you're going to suggest uh, strategies that you will use to overcome the problem. Okay, so worksheet is uh, uploaded na sa Moodle. So kita na lang ninyo dito ang uh, format niya. So again, um, kanang, kailangan ninyo i-revisit. Kailangan ninyo i-check if your vision and mission statement is in line na siya sa inyong business and then customer focus na siya. Okay, so for your objectives, so um, kita on nyo dito kung maghimo mo og, og objectives, kung unsa inyong i-achieve sa inyong business in three years time. And then, ipang, uh, you have to really consider what are those objectives na kailangan ninyo i-achieve. And then, thirdly, um, identify the problem. Okay, kung unsa ang impact. Like for example, ang inyong problem is, Ang problem niyo is ang inyong mga customer nag-change na sila sa ilang preferences. Like gusto na nila, like sa una gusto nila ang inyong mga design. 
pili na sa so on sa manang inyo hang buhag kun sa mga strategies ang inyo hang apply so that customer would would stick na pud sa inyo hang product or services ana so mag change ba mo og design mag change or mag add ba mo og design so kana okay now let's proceed to your lab activity activity for the market plan okay so marketing plan um it is the vital to marketing success. So they help to focus the mind of the companies and marketing teams on the process of marketing. So what is going to be achieved and how you intend to do it. So there are many approaches to marketing plans. It is contained under the popular acronym IOSTIC. Okay, so a for analysis, O for objectives, S for strategies, T for tactics, and C for controls. So after the business plan, you are going to present your marketing plan na ha? Okay, so mo ni siya ang definition sa marketing plan. So marketing plan includes the information about the market segmentation, about your customer, about your target market, um, smooth analysis, um, key issues issues that would arise from your SWOT analysis, um, the sales and marketing goals and objectives, the value proposition, the marketing strategies, um, the pricing, promotion, uh, sales, and distribution. Okay. So situation analysis includes the marketing environment. Okay. So inyohan naman ni, actually gihimo na ni ninyo sa inyohang SWOT analysis. The babat pa ng Kato inyo hang laboratory activity to um, the SWOT and the PESEL analysis. Though na ay uban, dili ka ayaw siya based kung asa nakalocate ang inyo hang business. Okay, so pwede siya ninyo i-revisit and revise para more specific siya and realistic. Okay, mauto niya inyong kitaon. Okay, naman ko'y uban, though, na, though nag-research sila, but still, dili clear, dili siya realistic. Dili po siya specific. Dapat, uh, adili ninyo makalimutan ang location sa inyong business. Kaya mauman na siya purpose anong SWOT and vessel analysis. Okay? So, then you're going to describe your target market. Okay? So, um, market segmentation. So, you're going to kanang i-group ni mo ang inyong market. I-group ni mo sila based on their preferences, based on their activities, or based sa ilahang mga um, political views, mga ingana. Okay? For example, among target market is are those traveler. But you have to specify what kind of traveler. So, mauna siya, ingana ang sa market segmentation. And then market targeting, you're going to ask this question, asa ka mag-segment? So, how are you going to target the segment? How should we position within the segment? And then, why is this segment and not a different one? Anong ka naman? Dili man ang lain. And then, you're going to define in terms of demographic and, and lifestyle. So, show how you intend to position your product or services within that segment. So, mo ito siyang ako ang example. Because, um... Consumers, na mga na sila different wants and needs. So they, and then, and that cost, and that um, wants and need, it may change over the period of time. Magdepende na sa ilahang age, magdepende na sa ilahang finances, magdepende na sa ilahang occupations and other, um, other kanang mga maka-affect or maka-change sa ilahang mga uh, needs and wants. So it should be identified and described so that makahibaw mo kung asa ang area in which you need to improve. Kailangan improve sa inyong business. Kung asa po mo, kung what type of marketing strategy po ang inyong i-apply. And then, in... Okay, mo na siya. <laughs> and then, SWOT analysis and key issues. So... So these are the issues arise from your SWOT. So a marketing plan uh, requires too many questions. Many of these answers will come from your SWOT analysis, considering the following questions: Who will buy your products? What will the buy? What will why will they buy the product? 
the potential customers, how is your product or services different from or your superior competitors, and then kind of mga seasonal trends, uh, mga product or services price sensitive, and then uh, what price will you sell your product or services for? Okay, basin sobrana sad na siya. And then, um, uh, from the SWOT analysis of your customers, customer base, uh, you should now be able to identify the key issues for your business. Okay? Key issues business marketing plan that resulting in your in-depth understanding of the current and potential customers. So, for example, uh, to increase the sales, you're going to uh, have a strategy like mag-open ba mo og another outlet or you may increase the budget for advertisement. So, kanang mga ingana. So, sales and marketing objectives. So here, sales and marketing goals and objectives from part of the underlying basis for the overall business objectives, this may be based on the client development. Okay? Um, geographic expansion, uh, service growth, debt reduction, and income uh, development. Mao na siya. So... Here is an example of how are you going to make a sales and marketing um, objectives. So first, here, um, the, goal, the goal of the Singapore Travel Agency could, would be uh, develop the business to be the most profitable of its type in the local area. So mo na ang ilahang goal to more be more profitable and then objective so ang ilang buhaton so that ma-achieve nila ang ilang objective is to increase the number of customer by 25 percent in year two and then and further 10 percent in year three so mo na actually pwede gid mo magdaghan ang objectives but um considering also kung unsa ang goal nga inyo hanggip gihi mo Okay, kaya basin daghan na mong objective sa dili 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 in relation to your kuan di ay kanang o goal. Okay, so mo na siya ang example. Okay, so value proposition. So in your sweet analysis di ay, um, Okay, so dali na lang sa So value proposition. So what will value add to your product or services that your competitors or product does not have? So muna siya inyong kita on. So in the case of tourism and hospitality business operation, it could be unique features, uh, your location, um, your unique or superior product and services, your creative packages, um, your exclusivity to attractions, um, well-versed and experienced staff, and then one-stop shop or all traveler services so these are the list um that is important in in differentiating your product or services from your competitor so that so as to give a competitive advantage from your competitor so you have to identify kung unsa ang naani mo and at, at the same time valuable na siya to your customer okay of course you have to 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 identify kung unsa ang mga mga competitive advantage so that if uh, the competitor would introduce another product or would introduce um, lain na pud na strategy, so makahibaw na pud ka kung asa ka mo, mo improve or mo ka nang, uh, mo adjust sa imo hanga business. So here is an example. So same gapo na siya sa katong Singapore travel nga example na to. So here... Um, the goal, mana to siya, mag-develop, mahimo siyang, the business is to be the most profitable um, of its type in the local area. And then objectives niya is, mo to siya, increase ang number of customer based by the 25%. And then ang strategy ngayon himo para ma-increase nila ang ilahang customer is to mag-develop sila o professional bro brochure. Okay, to drop off the local 
specific nga date and naapo siya specific nga date kung kano sa ana nila ma-achieve o kano sa ana nila ma-deliver. Okay, so another strategy nga ilahang himuon is to make sales appointments to new and potential corporate clients. And then lastly, ang ilang usaka strategy is to advertise in media outlet focused on high ends um, and leisure and corporate target markets. So mao na siya ang mga ag example. Okay, so again, pwede rin mo maghimog tagang objectives and then pwede rin sa maghimog strategy. But of course, don't forget na inline na siya sa inyong goal. Okay, so second objectives, based on a given example, to reduce the cost of operating operating the business by 10% in year 2. So unsa man ang strategy nga buhaton para ma-reduce na siya or ma-achieve na siya nga objectives, you have to identify the all cost of the business in the past 3 months. So money strategy nga buhaton. Or work with employees and suppliers to achieve potential cost saving or implement and monitor the performance of cost savings implemented as above each month and commencing in on May 31. So mon ajay example. So again, um, the marketing strategy should be um, customer focused. Okay, so in designing the market strategy, it should be customer focused. So you have to put yourself in the place of your the customer. So of course, in in doing so, you have maka identify na ka within yourself kung unsa to ang mga possible nga mahitabo o unsa to ang mga possible nga mga responses nga it could be effective ba na siya or dili okay marketing strategy so in addition to increasing sales to existing customer this business could be considered like mga magmodify baka sa imong product or services um mag increase baka sa area sa imong service and diversification Okay, okay, if they are, if the customer is satisfied with their product or service, they will become repeat customers and will tell others about your business. So, aside from all those things, those kind of mga pagstorya nila ngato sa laing tao sa positive feedback sa sa inyong ah business, it could be the free na na siya, free advertising na na siya. The word of mouth advertising is free. Okay, and Personal recommendation by existing customers should guarantee your additional sales. You need mo na siya. Mato kong gihingon na dapat customer focus yun ang inyong marketing strategy. Okay, you have to put yourself good. Kanang imo yun i-imagine kung ikaw ang customer on sa mani, on sa mani, mo ni mo na. Okay, mo gina siya. So mo na siya ang usa. Mo na siya ikilangan yung hinum duman in conducting the marketing strategy or inighimo na yung sa marketing strategy. So another market, and, and let's proceed to the marketing tactics. So convert the strategy into the marketing mix. So also known as P's or the four P's of marketing. So pricing, so unsaman, what price do you need to sell your product or services to cover all startup costs? Um, it must also fit with the image of your business as perceived by the customer. For example, if you're going to focus on the luxury travel, uh, the packages developed and prices as charged must not be in competition with the budget travel market. So, na siya kailangan na hunaon. And then you are going to decide what will, of what will, whether you will offer credit terms. So, decide you if you're going to offer uh, credit terms. So, in hospitality and tourism operations, some businesses offer accounts to regular customers. Example, um, hotel accommodation, um, mga food and beverage bills for corporate customers. If accepting credit card payments um, by the other consumer, you need to build in the operation cost and discards. So okay. a business is charged by percentage based on the amount charged by the banks or kind of mga American Express. So maogid na siya. And then, those are the marketing tactics nga imong himuon sa imong business and then you have also to 
in the outline mo ha sa imong business you have to consider kung unsa ang price structure for your product and services unsa ang basis sa inyong prices nga based on your calculation and then how your price compare to your competitors so man actually kita on ninyo in doing the pricing so in terms of promotions um Okay, moment to siya, ang 4P, the last P. Um, in terms of promotion, um, you have to consider these things, okay? So, promotion of your business can be achieved by advertising, mga direct mail marketing. Um, uh, mga uh, sponsorship, uh, and, and paid advertising, and paid advertising like mga word of mouth or mga media coverage, um, customer service and personal contact. Okay, mona siya. And then sales distribution. So how will your customer purchase your product or services? Okay, well you have a dedicated office, or if so, where will it be located? Is it convenient and accessible? So what type, what times will you be opening your business? Okay, so, mo offer ba mo mga internet sites, mga website bookings, mga phone bookings, okay, those, those things. And with other business operations be involved, um, the sales and distribution of your business product, like mga agent distributions or franchises. Okay, mo na siya. Sorry, activity four, the marketing plan. So, for activity four, you're going to make a marketing plan. So here, you have to make an introduction. You have to define what is marketing plan. You have to discuss its importance to the development of the business plan. And you have to briefly discuss the elements of the marketing plan and the marketing process. Okay, so introduction is to be done individually. And for objectives, so you have to copy the objectives presented in the screen. Then for your methodology, you have to discuss the actions that your group has done to complete the laboratory activity, uh, the process. Then you have to here for the result, mononisha ang yuhang group activity na. Going to identify kung saan yuhang target, you have to describe your character. The SWOT analysis for your business. So you have to revisit ang, ang inyong hanggihibong nga SWOT uh, for your laboratory activity too. Okay? And then for, and then we have also to identify the issues arises from your SWOT analysis. And then now you have to Identify put ang goals and objectives in relation to your sales and marketing. You're going to develop the goals and objectives. Okay, so identify nyo yun sa unsang yung goal and that unsang yung mga objectives in order to attain that certain goal. Okay, so value position or the competitive advantage. So you have to conduct a competitor's analysis. Okay, identify your competitive advantage. So last meeting, um, your activity is kanang nagpahatag man kun yung activity regarding sa competitor okay so here you have also to identify kinsa na gyud yung yung mga specific na competitor like for those activity or the business uh, group na katubitan na yung mga uh, sweet delights katong mga regarding sa uh, mga travel agency so you have to identify kinso ang inyong main competitor basing food kung asa nakalocate ang inyong business di ba um for example katong AB bake sweets kato siya nga uh, business ah uh, kinsa ang inyong competitor so si Panis ba uh, di ba nang para si or ang Gold Deluxe pa or ang katung sa mga or other mga kanang mga mga restaurant or company nga nag offer good og same product pareha sa inyo ha so mo na sila ang inyong mga main competitor gyud ang inyong isuwat diri ah and then you have also to identify unsa ang inyong competitive advantage uh, towards those mga competitors unsa ang inyong best okay 
wala siya. And then for marketing strategies, again, you have to develop your marketing strategies based on the goals and objectives ngayon na anya sa inyo hang ay inyo hang create for your business. Okay, so na kay goals, mo yung objectives, so kung sa mga strategies ngayon yung buhaton in order to attain those objectives and to achieve the goals for your business. So here for pricing, so describe your price. Dili lang kay ibutang lang ang price sa usa ka product or services, but you have to indicate giun sa ninyo pagka come up ana nga price ug unsa inyo hang basis for that price. Okay? And then you have to explain also if how your price compared to your competitor. Same lang ba? Uh, mas lesser ba or higher gamay ana? And then for promotion, you have also to identify kung unsa ang strategies ng inyong buhaton for your promotion. Para makahiba ang mga consumer nga na din ang product na exist na nga na company or ka nga product ang inyong hang offer like pwede mo maghibog flyers para ma-inform ang mga consumer or mag-conduct mo promotion through radio station. And in doing so, you have to indicate the, or describe how much ang fee Okay, pilihan nyo na gasto ang nga promotional nga, nga activity and so on. For sales and distribution, so describe the method of sales and distribution, how will your customer purchase your product or services. Okay, mga ingana. And lastly, learnings, challenges, and suggestions about sa activity. Kay last activity na to laboratory exercise, to what? Nag-describe mo about sa activity. Mama niyang gibutang diri. But I want you to take note nga dili about sa activity ang kaninga part. Okay, it is how or ang way how you conduct the activity. Okay, so if you have any questions, so you can message me directly or pwede good mo ma-enter at itong naabit ay consultation time na akong gibutang sa Moodle. Okay, kay kanang very important ka ayaw ni siyang business plan because this will be your final output na sa semester and you will be based your grade will be based on your output okay kay at the end of the semester or before mag ending semester you will be required to present your complete business plan na and there are certain other instructors or lain na mga instructors na marate sa inyo hang business plan Okay, so I'm very open a bit more also um, so that I can help you in creating those things. Okay, so announce we will not meet next meeting, but I'll be uploading a recorded video for activity five and six. So take your time to do or he most in your laboratory exercises. So by June 15 for Tuesday class. Uh, June 17 for a Thursday class and June 18 for Friday class, you're going to present na your laboratory exercises. That would be laboratory exercise 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that would be also the deadline for your individual activity. So take note kung sa ito inyong mga activities na paghahimuon and please find time so that makakommunicate mo with your group. Okay? And then, um, Pangutana, pangutana, pangutana lang yun muna ko, okay? So that I can guide you also on creating your business plan. Okay, so thank you everyone. Hope you enjoy your day. Okay, and God bless.